All right, so I started this series with Leo and I'm ending with Aquarius and you guys are my opposite sign. So woohoo to that synchronicity. But anyway, um, you guys are ruled by Uranus and Saturn. And I think that the pairing of Saturn with Uranus is good because Uranus is all over the damn place unexpected, popping out of nowhere, and if you guys don't have Saturn there to help y'all out, we don't know what the hell you guys will do. Now, aside from Sagittarius, y'all motherfuckers are weird as hell. You're weird, you're weird, you're weird. I don't know who's more weird, maybe Sagittarius, but you guys are weird. You're weird, you're different, you're innovators. We really don't know what you're gonna do. Um, so, opposite sign, you guys, being an air sign can become very detached. You guys are the sign that out of all of them really don't give a fuck about what people think the most in my opinion. Like you really, not even because you're making a statement but just because you don't even think about it. It is not a part of your agenda. But see, that can bite you in the butt because <clears throat> you can get round up in what you wanna do and how you wanna do it and be very detached and not take in consideration of other people. Um, you're very popular. You're very, very popular. You are goal-oriented. You are humanitarian. You are for the service of the whole. Um, a lot of people like you. You know how to socialize. You usually have a lot of friends. Um, and it comes from just, you know, a dutiful place. I know a lot of Aquarian women will be teachers. Being an air sign, you guys are very intellectual minded. You know how to dish out information. Um, you guys are teachers. You you know your your um slogan is i know that's the way you guys operate and so when you know what you know you know what you know and you guys are confident in it and when it's challenged because you're a fixed sign when people challenge what you know that can have dire consequences because it it threatens the very framework of what you guys are made out of and that's the way you guys operate. That's the way you guys have gotten by. That's what you guys know. Like, that's how you survived. And it, and you guys really do know. Um, so when it when it's not right, it kind of throws you guys off. And it threatens your ego. I know my brother is an Aquarius. And when I was a little kid, and I would bring home a... a board game and he never he didn't even read the directions he never even heard about the board game and I get ready to play with him and I'm getting ready to tell him the directions and he gr grabs the instructions out of my hand and says I know how to do it I know it's like you never you never saw this game before but that's an Aquarian man Aquarian men are very hard they're difficult because like I said, the framework of the I know is so inherent in the Aquarius. And then men in this society are, you know, puffed up and, you know, women are more depreciated. So it's like getting through to an Aquarian man is so difficult. Um, one who's not as evolved. Um, so I guess I would say like more transparency with the Aquarians. Um, what else? You guys are unpredictable and in a really weird way and you don't realize it. You guys have a quirky offbeatness to you that is just, no one can ever calculate. And as a Leo, I find that really fun and even sexy. Um, I love it, actually. 
you guys do the weirdest things and you're into the weirdest things things I would never even think of so it's like you would always keep me on my toes um, you like I said you guys can be detached very fickle you moment to moment to moment like blown with the wind um what else about Aquarius this is the dawning of the age of Aquarius we're in your age baby um let's see Aquarius I like flirting with you guys I like flirting with the Aquarius women better than the men Interestingly enough, they let me in more. Um, I can have some um, dominating things back and forth with the Aquarian woman, but I feel like it's weird because, like the the Aquarian women that I met in my life, like it's like a competition in a way because we're both we both um, steal the show. We're both in the spotlight, but it but in two different but our strategies for it are different and but at the same time I feel so connected to them so it's like a best friend and a rival which could be very indicative of them being the opposite sign and like I feel like a Leo Aquarian relationship could either go really well or really sour depending on how you're approaching it um, let's see, yeah, Aquarians, the humanitarians, they're gonna help, they feel, they, they reach out for the underdog, they're gonna help the underdog, um, hmm, they're fun, they make me laugh a lot, oh my goodness, they make me laugh a lot and I make them laugh a lot. And the thing that I like about Aquarius is be, is when I get really silly, like the dumb silly shit I do that some people are like, what is this Leo doing? Aquarians eat it up. And then the Aquarius, I find hilarious just for being their quirky selves. Um... Aquarius, um, you guys are always coming up with new ideas, finding solutions to issues. Um, you're very mental being an air sign, so you talk out your issues, you talk out your problems, you, um, you, especially the Aquarian man, you really go to, um, Finding solutions. Thinking, 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 thinking. What can I do now? What can I do now? How can I achieve? What's the next project? Where can I go? Like, that's the way you guys work. And um, an Aquarian man, especially being a fixed sign, I mean, there are some similarities between the Leo and Aquarian man. Um, there can be some a bit, some misogyny. Um, I feel like Aries takes the cake with that, though. But, um... It's interesting because you guys are detached, but I find some Aquarian men to be needy, which which I think is, which I find weird because I'm like, I'm a Leo. I'm supposed to be the detached one. I mean, the needy one. So why are you all up under my butt? <laughs> um, I guess, why is that? Let me think. Why, why, what would make an Aquarian needy? I don't know, maybe comfort from the mental anguish. Maybe it's just like the Leo Aquarian tossing of energy of opposites. I don't know. I, I've i never dated an Aquarian man. I've flirted with them and, you know, but never like seriously dated one. So that would be an interesting, interesting dichotomy I mean we're both fixed signs so I mean oh yeah when it comes to arguing with Aquarius um between Leo and Aquarius it's just it's not gonna drag out 
it's really not going to drag out. They're going to say their point. We're going to say our point. We either agree or we don't. And that's that. Unless, you know, I mean, that, this is not one size fits all, but it's, I mean, because we're both fixed. Like, and we either going to get with it or we not. Um, I like chatting with Aquarian women, um, intellectual conversation with them. It's very stimulating. And, um, what else about Aquarians? Yeah, I, also, your Uranian unexpected energy also scares me too. It's off-putting. Because it's so natural to you and um, it throws me off and sometimes I don't know how to be, like I just, I kind of freeze. <laughs> um, yeah, like sometimes I don't know what, I don't know how to respond to it. Um, like I said, some both both Aquarian men and women can be know-it-alls because like I said their slogan is I know and if you get a not evolved Aquarian it's gonna be hard dealing with it but anyway I love you silly freaking Aquarius people you teach me about the opposite of me and I hope you like the video bye